Can you guys move a little bit closer with each other? Stop talking. Oh yeah, Perfect. no problem. I'm just gonna sit down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Kevin Augustine. Hi, uh, my name is Jonathan Otempio. Hello, my name is Dolapa Achobi Williams. Hi, my name is Megan Robosky. Hi, my name is Lindsay Ferretti. Hello, my name is Max Hecker. So, my favorite class that I've taken up until now is a class called PLC which stands for Programming Language Concepts. And the class is basically developing a programming language from the first week to the last week. So every single week we build onto our programming language. And that's been my favorite class because it shows how all the other programming languages were made. Uh, another favorite that I'm looking forward to is Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. We, uh, <laughs> you, we go over uh, statistics and probability classes more math stuff, and then that leads into um, artificial intelligence classes. One of my favorite classes was uh, the cloud class, uh, cloud computing. Uh, I found it very applicable to all of my co-ops. Uh, all of them were in infrastructure or distributed systems. And uh, in that class, we learned specifically about AWS and how cloud computing was formed as, as a topic. Um, and it was really interesting to learn not only about this like cutting edge technology, but then also to get like hands-on experience with a real tool like AWS. 262 was awesome because you get your design basics. You figure out how to make a well-made piece of software, how to make sure that everything works together cohesively, that it's maintainable. Um, and Cloud Class also was a really, really good class because you learn so much about um, tools that are used like constantly in the real world all the time. Um, and you get to have hands-on experience with them and you get to do a big project for, in a team where you learn a bunch about um, how all those things work together. You kind of get to design it yourself, which is cool, so you can pick uh, what technologies you want to work with and that's awesome. Yeah, I started uh, programming in high school with my calculator during math classes. I would um, start, I just love like problem solving where we had um, like math problems that I'm like, how can I just do this automatically on a, on a calculator? Uh, from there, I, I looked at IT and saw that the computer science program just went like super into detail about how we go about solving problems. And uh, I was just really interested in that. I also got to program a little bit in high school um, I actually wanted to go into like game design and development at first, and that's still something I want to do in the future. But I did want to like like get my degree in something that I thought was more marketable and would actually like open more opportunities for me. So I'd have like I could still work in like game development, but like I could also like get jobs in other fields. And I do really like computer science and the way like the program is set up. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I was a computing exploration student to begin with, um, so I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had coded a little bit in high school and knew that coding was really fun, super interesting, um, and wanted to keep doing it, but I wasn't 100% on exactly um, what discipline specifically I wanted to do. So I started out um, taking a bunch of CS classes and SE classes and some security classes. And I eventually settled on software engineering because it seemed like the most uh, real world applicable um, major. They go over a lot of stuff that happens in the actual industry. You learn a lot of um, tools that are used in real jobs all the time. Um, and I also liked the people and the SE classes the best. They were really nice. I was uh, also a part of the computer exploration program and in high school, all I really knew is that I liked computers and code seemed pretty cool. So the computer exploration program gave me a chance to really like uh, explore what different kind of computing majors I'd be interested in. And for me, it, it really came down to CS versus SE. And I ended up choosing software engineering because uh, I learned that it was more team based in a lot of the classes. Like most of the classes you take, you work on a team. 
And that was really important to me because I find that I always do my best work when I'm with the team and I have someone else to hold me accountable and I have someone to hold accountable to. Well, uh, for SS, or excuse me, for software engineering majors, um, one of my favorite things is the Society of Software Engineers that we have, which is a student-run organization on campus. Um, we provide mentoring for our fellow peers who might be struggling with their classes. We do events so that people can come together and be social. Um, there's a lot of networking that happens. We have companies that come in and will do um, talks and sometimes they'll take resumes if you need an internship. Um, overall, it's a really great resource and I personally spent a lot of time and made a lot of friends um, socializing in the Society of Software Engineers. Um, it's one of my favorite things about our major. Um, kind of in line with that, our office staff are really great. They're really supportive of all of the students and also of um, the SSE as an organization. They really do their best to make sure that students get access to all of the resources that they need to be as successful as possible. I agree, our faculty are really awesome and most of them have real industry experience and so they're able to bring that experience into the classroom and say, we're learning this in class because I've actually used these principles you know, in the workforce and you will too on co-op. So most of our professors are doctors, they have PhDs in the field, they are, are like scientists that are constantly doing research. I've done research with a handful of professors and it's really cool seeing how um, advanced and high level they're doing their research on. Yeah, we um, have the computer science community, which is uh, a club that is popped back up where they, they go over everything um, that you really <laughs> want to know about computer science involving like starting projects or like getting a co-op or a job and just talking about um, like computer science uh, things. Yeah, we also have coding competitions which are like sometimes really fun and like a good way for you to like just like work on your skills and practice and like a few like social events also just so like computer science students get to like know each other. And in addition, there's also like the Computer Science Mentoring Center, which I think is a really cool resource that has saved me so many times on like projects, especially in like the early CS classes. Um, the Mentoring Center is like mostly run by like student lab instructors that are like the SLIs for CS1 and CS2 classes. So like they usually like know exactly what you're working on in those classes and like they they will like help out in like any classes within the CS field. So. We also have a club called Artificial Club, RIT Official Club, and it's essentially an AI club um, where we talk about how to start AI projects because AI is really hard to get into. And so it's a big resource that allows students to really get into what they want to study. We don't yeah. code. <laughs> We have co-ops. Yeah, we end up in pretty much the same jobs. <laughs> yeah. Everybody becomes software engineers in the later. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, it's pretty similar where if you're a, a software engineering major or CS major, you get to pick any sort of place you want to go. Um, if you want to be a software engineer, you can. But if you're a software engineer, you can definitely have other CS jobs. And if you're a CS job, obviously you can become a software engineer. Um, it's not like, um, you're bound to one thing after you graduate. I totally agree, but I think the differences in the majors do lend us to different specialties. Mm -hmm. So I think software engineers are more likely to be really good architects or people that are really deep in the design um, out in uh, the workforce. Uh, but I would argue CS is, you know, pushing the bounds of technology as it is right now. And so they would be really good for research positions um, or teaching positions later. Also, it's, I think, the biggest difference and the deciding factor, for me at least, uh, between CS and SE was the way that you learn. So I learned best in team settings and uh, basically all of my software engineering classes, like after the first couple of years, are team-based uh, project classes and that really worked well with me. And a lot of my more CS classes were just individual work about like 
getting to spend as much time as you need, like working on it on your own. With uh, or with both majors, like or all classes, like you get hands on with code. You we all do projects. We do team projects. We we all get to just like work together and like go through the process of like creating stuff through programming. They're both hard, but they're both fun. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs>